LAPD stepping up patrols around Jewish synagogues and community centers. Police stressing there is no specific threat, more of a generalized one. This comes as concerns grow about a rise in anti-Semitism here in the city and around the country as well. PIX 11's Karen Dillon joining us live this morning from the Cobble Hill section of Brooklyn with more on this growing story. Karen. Hi, good morning, John and Kirsten. Yes, so the NYPD is stressing this morning that this increased police presence is really just a precaution. Once again, they are saying that this is not a specific threat that they are dealing with right now, just a generalized one. Still, if you are around uh, Jewish places of worship today or community centers, you can expect to see more officers out in full force. At this temple on the Upper East Side, Rabbi Joshua Davidson says there is concern over rising anti-Semitism in the Jewish community, but he is advising his congregants to not let it stop them from practicing their religion. The most important thing that we can do as a Jewish community is not let those who would want us to be afraid cease to come together and do what we do. Rabbi Davidson says the NYPD is focusing on security, doubling its efforts as a precaution, but he reminds his congregants there is no specific threat. So we're encouraging people to continue to come to synagogue, to continue to celebrate Jewish life, continue to be there for one another and for the New York City community. All of us are in this together. Mayor Eric Adams is also speaking out against anti-Semitism. He spoke on Broadway at the show Parade, which tells the story of a factory manager whose sentence for rape and murder is commuted. After outcry, he'd been wrongfully convicted due to anti-Semitism. Earlier in the week, a small group of neo-Nazis had protested the musical. The ugly act that took place here uh, was just a scar. It was in our face. These are our faces. It's the beauty of diversity, particularly in a city like New York. On the Upper East Side, Judith Trachtenberg agrees. She says she plans to be in the temple on Saturday. It's a topic that's very important because it's not just Jews. Um, you know, it's anti-blacks, it's anti-Asians, it's an anti. And I think that's the theme that we have to keep fighting against if we want to survive as humans. So as for New Jersey, the United Synagogue of Hoboken tells us it is extremely grateful that police have also upped uh, their presence around that synagogue as well. Uh, faith leaders there say they are really encouraging their congregants to be vigilant uh, today and over the next few days. If you see something that is of concern, please call police immediately, though uh, faith leaders are also stressing if you want to practice your faith today, head to a synagogue, please do so because, uh, again, this is just a um, generalized threat, not a specific one. For now, we are live in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn. Karen Dillon, Pixel Avenue.